Well, good morning, and welcome again to another podcast. Down to earth, but heavenly minded. I'm your host, Herb Rich. And today we're going to be finishing up on the book of Ephesians. We'll be in chapter 6. So with that said, let us just get our scripture up here. And we're going to be looking at the whole armor of God and the final uh, closing, uh, the final message. With that said, let's just read the scripture. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers uh, over this present darkness. Again, the spiritual force, against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. (coughs) Excuse me. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Now stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of the faith with which you can extinguish all the flames, flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert, with all preservation, making supplications for all the saints and also for me, that the word may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mysteries of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly as I ought to speak. Now the final greeting so that you may know how I am, what I am doing. Tychius, the beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will tell you everything. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know we are, know how we are, and that he may encourage your hearts Peace be to the brothers, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love the Lord Jesus Christ with a love uh, incorruptible. With that, I'm just going to switch screens here. And let's take a look at uh, the scripture that we just read. In uh, looking at the whole armor of God, finally be strong at the Lord in his strength of his might. See, it's not our strength that we rely on. In my flesh, it's very weak. But if I stand firm in God's strength, Uh, in the Lord's strength. And I need to put on the whole armor of God. Well, and this armor of God will let us stand against the schemes of the devil. You know, and it tells us right off that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the cosmic powers over the present darkness. 
and against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. There's a spiritual force behind what is going on in the physical world. And right now, we're in enemy territory. Excuse me. We are uh, in Satan's domain. He's the god of this world. And we are, uh, you know, we're not citizens of this realm. We are just passing through. This is we're, This is only temporal for us. We have something a lot better waiting for us. It's the kingdom of God, and we'll be in it. And we are part of it right now. And so this is the reason that we have to take up the whole armor of God, that we, we can withstand the evil days and having done all to stand firm. We're going through a series. It's called Stand Firm. And uh, truly, we are fighting against all these evil forces in heavenly places. I just want to mention that a brother in our fellowship, excuse me, had uh, a wonderful teaching uh, on this section of scripture. And I'm going to include the link in it. Uh, he was in law enforcement. And what he did is compared all these, uh, all the armor of God, but what a police officer has to carry. He was a park ranger. But he carried all the same gear. Uh, so I'll put that link in the description. Now it says, Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace, in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation uh, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You know, all these things that we're reading about I don't know why I got up early this morning. I uh, I look at all these things as uh, our offensive uh, weapons, except for the Word of God and prayer, uh, which we have to use. Uh, I'm sorry, the others were all defensive weapons to re. Uh, fell everything that the evil one throws at us and our our Bible the Word of God and prayer I gotta take a drink of coffee here no I'm sorry I'm drinking tea not coffee anyway this is what we have to combat all the things that is thrown at us. We have defensive weapons, and now we look at the offensive ones. To this end, keep alert with all preservation, making supplications for all the saints, and also for me, that the word may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mysteries of the gospel. And he says, For who I am an ambassador in chains. Paul wrote this epistle from prison. He was incarcerated in Rome. And he wanted to have boldness to declare uh, the word of God, that he needed this prayer. And even as great a man as Paul was, he relied on prayer. And we, too, uh, need to rely on prayer. That's why it says, pray for all the saints. 
and uh, we are to try to do this. Well, like I said, I want you to look at that teaching uh, by one of my fellow brothers uh, on this section of scripture. So just click on the link in the description and you can watch it. So let's just take a quick look at the final greeting. So that you may know that I am how I am and what I am doing. He sends a brother uh, to the believers uh, in the faith. And uh, he gives this report of what's going on in Paul's life while he was incarcerated, incarcerated in Rome. And uh, he is a faithful minister in the Lord, and he will tell you everything. I have sent him to you, Paul says, for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. So the saints needed encouragement. And also, uh, he says, peace be to the brothers and love with faith from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. And he closes with grace be with all who love the Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. What a beautiful way to close this book. Well, we made it through the entire book of Ephesians, and I hope you enjoyed going through it. So with that said, I'm going to just bow out of here. Bye for now. Until the next time. I'm not sure what we'll talk about next time. I pray about it and see where the Lord leads me. Bye for now.